I'm so excited to introduce for you today a lentil dish that is packed with flavor. It's a Moroccan flavors enhanced by the Moroccan cuisine. Uh, I'm really um, excited to show you how to do it. So I have the ingredients here. I washed, I soaked the green lentils off overnight and I washed them thoroughly. So I have one cup of lentils and I also have one cup of um, basmati rice that I washed and drained, one onion uh, diced, one uh, fresh tomato uh, chopped small. I have an inch uh, of um, fresh ginger that I have diced to small pieces, two cloves of garlic. You can go up or down depending the you know how garlicky you like your dish to be but we have many flavors going on so i want just the balance of everything to go well i have here uh, four different spices i have one teaspoon of coriander um, half a teaspoon of chili powder half a teaspoon of cumin one and a half teaspoons of sweet paprika some salt i will use about a teaspoon of salt but you can go up and down depending on your uh, choice of uh, flavor and saltiness i have um, some pepper i'm gonna be sauteing things with olive oil and garnishing with some fresh parsley at the end let's get started uh, in a pot that i already heated a little bit i will add a, uh, about two to three tablespoons of uh, olive oil and uh, I will be adding first the onion and sauteing it until it's translucent. Garlic normally uh, burns much faster, so every time you're cooking with garlic and onion, make sure to leave the garlic until later on. As soon as you start smelling the fragrant onion and it starts to get translucent, you will be adding the garlic and the ginger. And now enjoy the aromas that come out of that. Mm. I wish you can smell what I'm smelling right now. Let it go for two minutes or so. At this point, I will add the lentils. And the rice, basmati rice. Mix. We will add the spices. I have the coriander, chili, cumin, and paprika. They all go in. I will also add a teaspoon of salt for now. Some pepper. for a couple of minutes let everything get toasty Now at 
this point I will be adding the tomatoes. And mix. Add a small pinch of salt, about two or three minutes from the time I added the lentils and the rice. Into that, I will pour a cup and a, cup and a half of water. You can also choose to use uh, uh, vegetable broth, but I think there is a lot of flavors going on. You don't need more flavor. So water will do. It's one and a half cup, because I don't want the dish to get mushy. I want everything to stay really nice and uh, keeping its uh, beautiful um, shape. So, and bring this to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, we're gonna turn the heat to the low, to low, and we let it cook for about 15 minutes or so. And then I'll show you what's gonna happen. As you see, it started boiling. I'm gonna turn the heat to low. And uh, cover. for about 15 minutes or until the liquid is absorbed. And here we are, 15 minutes later. I can't wait to indulge, it smells really good. Wow. So many flavor, explosive flavors in your mouth, but all gentle and perfectly matching to each other. They complement everything in this dish. Try it. I'm sure you're gonna enjoy it. Try it.